Hi guys, welcome to the Learn Electronics Repair New Year Quiz. Yeah, another chance to test your electronics knowledge. I have four questions for you today. That's one more than last time, so consider this a bonus, okay? And straight on with the first one. I have here two resistors. They're both the same value. They are both 10 mega ohm and they're both 1%. But I will measure them to see if they actually read the same because that's important in this question. Do they read the same? So let's get the multimeter and let's have a look. So I'm not touching both legs. So I should have a good reading. This one's 10.4. That was quite reasonable. Yeah, and that one's 10.6. So we'll, we'll consider that within the realms of being the same. Good enough for this question. So what are we going to do with our resistors? Well, we're going to connect them in series. Okay, so we're going to connect the two resistors in series. Okay. And we're going to apply a voltage from our bench supply. We'll put 30 volts. And we'll measure this to make sure we have 30 volts. Okay, let's check. We have 30 volts. Okay. So what's the question? Well, here's our very simple circuit. Zero volts, 30 volts. We have our two resistors. We've checked they are basically the same value. So we'll have a bit for tolerance, but the question is, if we connect our multimeter here, multimeter, always draw an analog one, of course, to here, what voltage will we read on the meter? What is the voltage? on our multimeter, okay? That's the first question. So here is the second question. We have an op amp here. This is an LM358 dual op amp. I'm just using one of the op amps in this package. And I have it wired as an inverting amplifier. So the resistor here, 1K, and this is a 3K resistor. It might look like brown, that is actually orange. It's just that the camera's picking up the color. So this amplifier is set to have a gain of three. And if we look on the oscilloscope, we can see the yellow trace is the input and the cyan trace is the output from the op amp. And I'm sure you can see that the output is inverted because this is an inverting amplifier circuit and it's three times the size of the input, approximately. We can see the input is 2.5 volts, roughly peak to peak, and the output's about 7.5. So that's basically three times, okay. The op amp has a 15 volts plus and minus supply, so we have coming here plus 15 ground and minus 15 so that's a supply to the op amp and the question is what will we see on the output of the op amp if we switch the power off okay so that's question two and question three this is a potentiometer it's a slide potentiometer okay we can move the slider from one end to the other. You can see here, this is a 50K potentiometer. This is actually a stereo one. So we have two potentiometers side by side. 
But I'm only actually using a single slider or a single gang as it's called. This is a dual gang. I'm just using one of them, okay? So you can ignore the other potentiometer. Now, the question is, if I take my bench power supply, you can see there it's set to 10 volts, okay? And I connect my bench power supply across the ends of the potentiometer. So I'm applying 10 volts across this. So there we go. That's the positive. That's the negative. Okay. We'll measure it just to be sure. You can see the multimeter and across the potentiometer we have 10 volts okay as expected i'm going to set the slider to the middle so you can see the middle in fact lines up with this thing here so we can say that is now in the middle it's centered yeah the question is then what is the voltage between here and the slider with the slider set in the middle okay so that's question three i'll allow you a little bit of tolerance in the answer there because a it isn't exactly 10 volts and b we can't be sure that's exactly in the center but ballpark yeah what's the voltage on the slider measuring from here and here's question four so i've built a very simple circuit here if we have a look we have a positive supply coming in okay we'll measure it in the moment but you can see this is the red lead from my power supply goes to a 1k resistor the other end of the 1k resistor connects to the positive end of an electrolytic capacitor this is 10 microfarad 25 volt and the other end of the capacitor connects to ground I also have this little speaker so these are the speakers you find on motherboards it's a passive speaker this will not make a sound on its own it needs a signal to make a sound okay and you can see that one end of the speaker is connecting to ground and the other end well it's on this yellow wire and it goes to nowhere so I'm now gonna add a mystery component to the circuit and here it is so this is my mystery component you see we have two wires attached to it and I'm gonna fit this in the circuit so one end we will connect to the junction between the resistor and the capacitor and the other end to our speaker and you can see or you can hear the speaker makes a sound now let's connect it the other way so we'll connect this pin to the speaker and we'll connect this pin to the junction and now nothing happens okay so you get a sound out of the speaker only when the component is connected in this direction okay i'll just draw this on paper for you in the moment but let's just have a look at our mystery component so we'll go to ohms range okay and we'll measure across it in one direction it's open circuit in the other direction it's open circuit that's my skin resistance i'll just get onto it so it reads open circuit both ways let's go to diode mode okay so it reads open circuit and we go the other way and it goes open circuit so it reads open circuit either way it reads the same in both directions but when you connect it to my circuit it behaves differently depending on the direction so once again we'll connect it the speaker is sounding we'll just measure the voltage on this power supply to set the 12 volts i'm going to show you that so we have a 12 volt supply okay you know what the question is don't you what's the mystery component and as promised i will draw this one so we have plus 12 volts we have a 1k resistor we have a 10 microfarad capacitor a 25 volts it happens to be i can show you probably 
There, can you see it? 10 microfiber, 25 volt, okay. This goes to ground, zero volts. And we have a connection from here and another connection from ground. So from ground, we have our little speaker. And the other end of the speaker goes to nowhere and this goes to nowhere and this is where I'm attaching my mystery components. Okay, and you've seen exactly how it behaves differently in different directions. I've shown you how it reads on a multimeter, so I'll give you lots of clues there, I think. What is it? Okay, I hope you really enjoy this quiz, give you something to think about over New Year. And of course, the answers will come in 2024. Yeah, <laughs> which is probably sooner than you may think. So, okay, answers next year. See you all soon. Hope you enjoyed that. Ciao for now, guys.